Chris up here with Queen City Reefs and more. As you know from the title, you know exactly what we're doing today. Let's talk about it. Let's take a look at this rock. Look at all that Aptasia. In between that, there's actually some, some of the, uh, there's some zoanthids, but and uh, they are definitely bothered by this Aptasia. I don't know if this Reef Delete will actually kill zoanthids as well. I'm going to take that chance though because at this time there's got to be some collateral damage, right? So here's the rock. I've got to give it a few for the battery to charge and then we'll be back to see this thing work. As you know, today is an exciting, exciting day. I am super, super excited. I think there's something that a lot of uh, tech junkies or gear junkies can relate to i hope so at least if not i guess i'm the only one as you saw from the title today we're going to be testing the reef delete now i'm not sure if you know what that is or not but you're probably wondering what i'm doing here and that's because i'm not only going to show it to you and talk about it but i'm actually going to put it through spaces as you saw right behind this camera right now a tank with a rock full of Aptasia and we're gonna test it now. I have this, I took a page out of inappropriate reefers tips of wearing gloves and I love this because there's times where I do not have time to get my hands dirty or wet. I'm on my way out, I see a coral down or whatever the case may be. I need to put my hands in, my, in the tank and I am able to use this without and then take it off and it's like I never was in it. So today we'll be talking and testing the new, this new device that came out called the ITC Reef Delete. Before we move forward, I would appreciate it if you please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, leaving a comment below, leave me any questions. And if you haven't heard of what this is, this is a UVC light. This right here is IP68 rated, so you actually are able to dip it in the tank. Keep in mind that this is a brand new product, so I am, am in a way a guinea pig because normally I wait for others to test it and leave feedback or do videos and all that stuff before I decide to buy it but in this case I'm desperate I've tried copper bands I've tried peppermint shrimp nothing's worked I've tried Aptasia X has not worked it spread the problem you might say that the problem was already there but I honestly believe that uh, it the Aptasia X actually made my problem a little bit worse a lot of it worse. So the, the biggest pro really is that it kills Aptasia, it kills Majanos, it kills Clover Polyps, it kills Algae, Dino, Cyano, according to, and this is all according to the box and you know their website. The con though is that depending on which one of those, and it doesn't explain which one of them, but depending on which one you're trying to kill, it can take several doses of it. On the directions, it actually said that you had to point this light at whatever organism you're trying to get rid of for a minimum of 60 seconds. And it also then says that it could actually take a few uh, tries throughout an extended day period. In other words, 60 seconds today, 60 seconds tomorrow, possibly even 60 seconds on the third day. I think that's a big con because depending on your tank situation will depend on is this worth it. Uh, do you, if you have a small little tank with just two, three Aptasias, maybe Peppermint will take care of it. Manual removal will take care of it. Aptasia X maybe will work. And you don't have to go for this product because again, this is a $400 product. Do you, if you have a huge tank with a lot of Aptasia, which that's my situation, is <laughs> I'm gonna be there forever. Now, nothing in this hobby is fast. My plan is to, you know, remove those rocks like the one that I did right now, remove them and actually do a freshwater dip for them to try to kill them that way. And then any rocks that I'm not actually able to move either because they're too big or there's corals on them already, then I'm going to use this on. Anything left that I can't reach because that's another thing. You're not going to be able to reach every single one of them. I mean, in big tanks, it could be almost impossible, but I'm not going to be able to reach some and that's what I'm going to depend on either the peppermint strip hopefully the copper band at some point gets a taste for it whatever the case may be you know that's when i'm going to depend on those other animals to hopefully keep it at bay i've also actually i've also even tried um a fawfish and that didn't work long story short this again is called the reef delete it is a uvc light you can actually take a closer look at it it almost looks like an led That you then point with this end right here. This only works underwater. 
So I had to charge the battery for quite a bit. So that took a while. And the, you, the way you charge the battery, it's actually, let me show you. It is a 3.6 volt battery. I would say double the size of a double A. Uh, and it has that little, it actually has a micro USB there port that you actually charge it with. There's a little light here in the corner that will tell you if it, once it's fully charged. Um, it's important that you make sure that it's fully charged before each use. Uh, because of course as anything else the less battery it has the less potent it will be I've actually been following this device for quite some time and I was waiting for it to finally be sold here in the US So then Jake from State Farm Just kidding Jake from Refilters posted on his uh, forum that You know that premium aquatics was going to be the first seller and on, on the day he posted it was the day that they had these So I, I jumped on there really quick and and went ahead and pulled the trigger to each his own. I mean, if, if you feel that there's a better way, then by all means you go that route. I thought I wanted to give this a, uh, a try. I wanted to be the first one to have it, and I do now, and we're about to check it out. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn the camera around, and then we're gonna just go ahead and you know test this out, see how it works. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here is the rock that is full of, of Aptasia and you can see the zoanthids there closed up and they've actually opened up under my aquarium lighting and all that stuff. As you can see there is a reaction to these there's a reaction for sure. All right, so I already found another con. I'm gonna be completely honest. I can see myself getting tired because the button is a little hard to press. You have to actually put some force into it. Um, now I know it's effective at making them retract, so that that's a good sign in, in the sense of it's causing a reaction from this light without me having to actually touch the Aptasia. I can tell you that I'm already tired. So the more and more time passed, I really stopped, you know, worrying about if the camera was um, recording and therefore just kept going but as you're about to hear here in a second uh, you'll start realizing that the more and more I do this the more and more I start realizing whether this is something that I really want to do in the 310 gallon and then in the 140 gallon all right guys this definitely is going to be a long process if, I, if there's some feedback of, of this I would say that the button you press needs to be a lot lighter especially because it, it already is in, in that mode where you, you can only turn it on once it's submerged so I guess that's like double redundancy but man is it a, is it a chore almost all right so I don't think you really care to watch the rest of this right I end up going through the whole rock on this first try uh, I end up doing it a second time after this, but as you can see, my excitement was dimming down a lot as I went through this. Not sure why on this video I decided to do it uh, slow motion, but after this uh, voiceover, I will speed it up so you can see the results of that one Aptasia. Um, spoiler alert, they were back the next day. So uh, I'll talk more about it at the end and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, don't forget to comment below. Let me know if you have any questions.
and gentlemen, as you can see, this is going to be a tedious, tedious project. I can't sit here and tell you whether I regret or don't regret, right? I will regret it if I don't use it. I'll regret buying that if I don't use it. Uh, so I definitely have to use it, definitely have to get rid of as many as I can. As you saw, it, it they had a reaction, right? They sort of kind of withered and, you know, they, they, they sucked themselves in, but it looked like their tentacles definitely looked damaged. Where I'm thinking there may, may be an issue and a requirement for me to do a second round is going to be because the body is still intact. And if, from my research, if you know anything about Aptasia, if they still have something intact, uh, uh, you know, like their foot intact, they can regrow back. I'm, I'm not taking off this glove because I am going to continue working on this, on this one rock. <laughs> oh man, maybe I should have thought twice about this, right? I'm gonna continue working on this one rock, make sure that all the Aptasia is at least some, somehow harmed. I'm gonna put the rock back in the tank. I'm gonna do the same process. If, I, if the Aptasia seems to still be there, uh, then I'm going to do this process a second time. I will let you know whether it takes me one, two, or three passes and whether it, it's successful. Now, two passes, I'll, I'll give it to it, right? Three passes, even though yes, they let you know three passes, but I was hoping that with Aptasia, it'd be one. So guys, I truly appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if there, being that I'm gonna do a second, uh, a second video of this, let me know if there's any questions that you have below, anything that you'd like me to do, anything you'd like me to test, any questions about the device so far that I've, you know, being that I've, I'm already, I have it in my hands and I'm using it. Uh, I'd be more than happy to answer those. Uh, and until that next video, guys, I will catch you on the next one.